So, speaking of originality, it is interesting when you we started off our careers, you know, 30 odd um, more years ago that when we went to places, we would never have seen pictures of them very often, or if they were, they might have been paintings. And it's, it, it's kind of one of the things I, I sort of a bit sad about in a way that, uh, that now there's, a, there's a sort of almost an excess of familiarity with, with locations. So I, I feel a kind of increasing pressure to want to walk further or um, find something new and, and different because as well as the familiar, which, which we've talked about already, there's a, for me, there's a big need to experience the new, to see something uh, that only, that, that, that I have no reference in my mind of what it is so that I can make it from new. Yeah, I can kind of understand why people when they're first taking their first tentative steps in photography will go and, and want to go to somewhere where they know it's going to work. You can learn from that experience up to a point. But to really drive your own photography on and, and, and get the full satisfaction from it, you need to have that, that kind of originality, don't you? It's just so much more satisfying. I think it's, it's part of the, uh, the fundamental thing of being creative. Um, I, I think an example that I, I like to use is music. If you think of the original songs and, uh, and, and tunes of the great tracks of, of, our t of our lifetimes, the best versions are, not always, but usually the original versions, actually sung and played by, by the composer, singer-songwriter, whatever it was. And there's something, there's something deep and kind of really soulful about it. And often that gets lost in the cover translations. And, and I still feel that about photography. You know, if you don't discover it for yourself, your, your appreciation of it, the, the, and often it is about the moment, um, the lighting on that moment, it's actually helped you to define the edges of the frame, the mood of the image, the atmosphere and everything about it. And, and, and so for me, the, the, although I might w well be prompted to go to a location because I've seen something that got me excited by it in the first place, the last thing I want to do is to repeat what's been done before there. Absolutely. I mean, it's very difficult when I'm going to somewhere like Peru, for example, that I've, I've never been before, to then to resist that temptation to go to places like Machu Picchu, for example. Mm. And let's face it, as a traveler, I, I want to see these places. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, when I go there, I want to come back with, I feel, with something that's unique to my vision. But without fail from these kind of trips, the pictures that really float my boat are more the images where I've, I've created something which is a, a product of of being there. I want to come back with a set of pictures from Peru, maybe just five or ten images, which are a real accurate reflection of my experience being there rather than just trophy images of the well-known locations. You know, if you think of photography, uh, you know, to use that musical analogy again, as uh, you know, the, the, the print is the performance, the, the, the picture of the original file is the score, uh, you know, I, I want to keep composing original scores and I think that's a that's something that, that you aspire to do as a creative person and it, it it feels to me very much like a kind of it's just if if I've if I'm repeating something that's been done before I don't I don't feel that ownership of it or the not in a sort of possessive sense but of originality so I actually have recently made a print of El Capitan uh, in uh, in Yosemite a black and white, which is a very deliberate homage to Ansel Adams, and uh, and I, I put as much in the title, um, and it's actually proved quite popular. But I can't help that. But it is it, a, is. it is a distinctive Joe Cornish picture. I know I've, you've just shown it to me. It's a fabulous image, and it's certainly unique to you. It is a very Joe Cornish picture. But I, I think I, I keep coming back to what I think is the hardest part of photography. It's all done before the camera even comes out the bag. It's those decisions about where we go and when uh, that, that really are the most difficult bit of what I do, certainly. Absolutely.